Well, it's official. We're coming into winter and we've got too many male quails. And they're really starting to do damage to each other, let alone the poor old female who's really copping it. So I'm not... Today's video will be about, in fact, how to um, pluck a quail and still leave the skin intact. Um, and so hopefully I'll give you due warning. I'm not going to show you any birds getting killed or anything silly like that. Um, but I will show you dealing with, with what's the bodies, with the remains. So be warned if you don't like graphic, it's probably a good time to tune out. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So besides uh, hurting each other and causing great amounts of grief, uh, the trouble with too many males is they also call out um, and unfortunately they're doing all bloody night and I've got houses pretty close to me here. I'm in a suburban block That was a quiet one um, So I really do need to cull the numbers down For example, I'm not so worried about this top cage because if you look all the birds are in pretty good nick So they're clearly not struggling too much for dominance. I'm going to leave them be um, the birds you saw before in the second cage, that's certainly not the case with them. There's damage all over, so they're the ones we're going to focus on. Most of those will be males. I probably will add, um, look, it's not fun doing this. Uh, you know, people think that you, oh, I do this because I enjoy killing birds. Well, you're sadly mistaken, I'm afraid. Um, I can't sell the males back to the produce shop because people only really want girls. One male, four females. Um, so I either, I don't know what I'd do with them, quite frankly. I could kill them and then not eat them, but that seems completely stupid. At least this way, I make sure they get a really quick, painless death, um, and I benefit from the meat. So I took the two oldest males. That one in the corner is a male. He's the youngest male, the whitish one. You can see he was copping a belton. Um, those two, I'm pretty confident, are females. So that's balanced this cage back up. And the birds in the bottom cage look like they're in good nick as well. So I've taken two males out the centre cage. If there's no more ructions tonight, um, that'll be all I need to take. Good for that. Let's hope it's quiet. <laughs> so we're going to get this water up to 70 degrees centigrade. Uh, or about 160 Fahrenheit um, and the birds will be dunked for about 30 seconds and we'll see if those feathers come off as easy as I've been led to believe shall we? I'll be out doing this on the side burner of my barbecue that little bucket there is for the feathers which I hope will come out very easily um, we're almost there I'm going to attempt to do this left handed uh, in order that I can see my watch so I can work out when the 30 seconds is gone and still video. So this should be quite the trick in a minute. So all I've done is um, take the head off the bird. I haven't done anything else. I've still got the feet. That gives me something to hold on to. Um, we are at 160 or 70 degrees depending on how you measure. And now we're going to dunk him. Oh, he's hard to hold under, harder than I thought to hold under, for 30 seconds. Um, now that's supposed to loosen up the feathers without splitting the skin. They say if you get much hotter than that, I've turned the, the heat down now, um, that you run the risk of splitting the skin. Oh, look, I can actually see a few feathers are floating. And that's about our 30 seconds. So I'll start work on that and come back and show you. It did come off pretty bloody nicely. Now I haven't done the wings. Um, and I'm not going to do the wings because I cut the wings off. So that would be a waste of time. There's still the odd feather I'll pull off as I go. Um, but yeah, that works a treat, folks. 
um, and then I'll proceed just to do this bird the way I normally do it um, so cut up each side of the backbone um, gut it cut the neck off cut the bottom off and cut the bottom parts of the feet off which are down there uh, did I mention wings come off at the shoulder blades where I've stopped peeling um, and then once I've gutted him I squash him flat break his breastbone and you've got a bird fit for the barbie well I'm surprised how easy that was um, I think I'll go to this rather than do the, um, the peel the whole skin and feathers off in one hit it's quicker the other way but I think this will keep a nicer bird because you've got the skin on or keep the meat, meat nice and soft and moist so there you go how to pluck a quail well, I'll be. Now if you like the idea of homesteading, even in the city, um, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, not all of my clips are as gory as this one, <laughs> I can assure you of that. Um, but it is well worthwhile knowing how to do this stuff. Um, so yeah, tap the little bell icon if you want to know when more videos come. I'll probably come back briefly just to show you the bird when he's completely done your finished product ready to go into a vacuum seal how good is that all right thanks for watching folks see ya